Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Chow, Dr. Erin Chow. Uh, today, I would like to talk about my course listing, my course planning of the school year 2022 to 2023. So first, I would like to talk about my uh, school's mission. Basically, I'm focused on training students to uh, train them to become the computer science major or computer EECS major ready for the UC school, including UC Berkeley, UCLA, UC Irvine, UC Davis, UC Santa Barbara, UC San Diego, UC Santa Cruz, UC Riverside. That's my main focus is to help students to become a uh, CS major. And if you are interested to apply to private school for computer science, uh, we can also help you. And in, in terms of in the computer science major portion, and my goal is to train all the high school students to become four language ready. And what four language we cover, including the Java, Python, JavaScript, and the C, C++. These are the language that we, we assume that uh, it will be very important in your college life. And also we will try to train you to become competitive programming ready including user code and the hacker song. These are our mission. So to help you to become uh, competitive in college application, especially in computer science major. Okay, before we get started in terms of our course design, first we need to know about what is needed in uh, a Berkeley's uh, computer science or ECS major, okay? Berkeley's uh, computer science and ECS major in the lower division, uh, in fact, the requirement for these two degree, uh, computer science degree or ECS degree, uh, they, they do not have much difference, okay? So that each degree, uh, they may require the mass 53, multiple, uh, multi-available calculus and also physics seven, a, 7, B for the physics. Uh, and the computer science major may not have that, but that actually is not related to computer science. So let's talk about the computer science courses only. Uh, you would be required to take the CS61A for Python. And this one doesn't teach you the Python uh, 1. It lets you study from Python 3, okay? So Python 1 is program structure. So teach you the for loop, while loop, uh, if you then helps and function code, uh, that's the basic uh, Python one. Python two focus on software library and also object oriented programming. And these will be covered in the CS61 for maybe uh, four weeks, something like that. But uh, about two thirds of the course are on Python 3 or Python 4 in the data structure or the language interpretation portion. So basically, uh, we need to help you to at least finish the Python 1 and Python 2 in our course uh, series. Okay, that's the goal. And that's about Python. And then there's another one called 61B that is in uh, Java. So this one, if you have the AP Kamsai uh, A course that cover the Java 1 and Java 2, okay? Same thing, programming structure and also the object oriented programming. These two part in the Java uh, CS61B only good for three weeks. So you still have about 12, 13 weeks uh, that will be new material covering the data structure and the uh, programming uh, and the uh, uh, algorithm. And we will teach you Java 3, okay? And also competitive programming. So th those are very important if you want to uh, be able to uh, follow this uh, CC1B. And C, C, double plus language, we actually uh, will teach you and that is required by this course, okay? And the same thing here, uh, the CT1C is a project-based course. And if you do not have C language background and you do not know about assembly, uh, you will be in trouble. So we will cover C, C++, okay? 
And JavaScript, JavaScript usually is a self-learned language. So here we also teach you, but uh, it is actually also needed by Hackathon. It's needed by Hackathon. So other than this uh, Python, Java, and C, C, double plus, you also need to learn uh, JavaScript in order to make yourself ready uh, in the computer science major in uh, Berkeley or some other UC school. Uh, some school like Irvine, they do teach you Python 1, Python 2, Python 3, study from scratch. Uh, and also they have the C, uh, actually uh, CS45 uh, for the C double, C double plus uh, two and 46 for C double plus three. Okay. And they also have uh, 45 J Java for Java two, Java three. Okay. So uh, anyway, that's some courses offered by Urban. So they also cover these different languages. So four language lately is very important in terms of helping you to become successful in college and also helping you to be able to be more competitive in college uh, application. And uh, they are also very important to help you to learn competitive programming at the high school level. So here are my uh, website, eco24.com, my email, echow510 at gmail.com, and also my Facebook. If you have any question, you can contact me. And we give you some free courses that you can take, including the, our orientation course and software installation uh, courses. Okay, about our Java programming course series, uh, we do offer a pre-AP Java. At this uh, course, we primarily teach you how to think in Java. So we use the Think Java uh, material to teach you how to think in Java. And then we teach you AP comes out A, AP comes out A copy, uh, cover this portion for Java 1 and Java 2. Again, Java 1 is on program structure and data structure. Uh, Java 2 co cover object oriented program. And if you are a accelerated student, we may add the Java 3 for you. And Java 3 actually is called Java Data Collection Data Structure. Okay. And that's needed for user code uh, competition. Okay, that's needed for, uh, for that competition. So for high achiever course series, we do offer some course like this. Okay. Including uh, Java 1, 2, 3. And that one actually is uh, only offer to student who take uh, the uh, pre-AP Java in the spring uh, spring semester. And then from summer, we do offer this, uh, this course for you, okay? But if you took the, take the summer pre-AP Java, then you, for the whole school year, you may only end up to the AP comes at A uh, portion, okay? And if you take the spring, AP, then in the summer we offer a CSA one and then we finish the whole thing here. And we we have included the AP uh, the, the Java 3. That's because that uh, this portion is originally AP computer science AP course. It would include this, okay? And this portion is AP computer science A portion. But in 2009, this AP comes uh, AP course was dropped because in that year only 38 students uh, in the whole United States took the uh, AP comes uh, AP uh, exam. So eventually this uh, exam is dropped. Now it's not no longer supported. But for us, for the competition purpose, we will still offer you such a course. If you take the pre AP uh, Java, okay, pre AP Java. And if you uh, did not take the pre-AP Java in spring, then you finish the AP Kamsai uh, A in one school year. Then the next summer, we will also still offer you the Java 3 and connecting to the competition course. Okay, so this is 
our Java programming course series design. And then for the Python programming uh, course, we do over CS31 and 30. Uh, these two courses are similar, except that uh, CS31 is more program structure, data structure oriented. Uh, 30 is more data science oriented, okay? So that's as soon as you take a 31, and then 32, object oriented programming, and 33, uh, data structure, and 36, uh, structure and interpretation uh, of the computer program. This 36 course is the cs 61 ace equivalent course in Berkeley. So basically you do not need this one in the high school uh, day, but if you are interested, we can give you the study course for you to do self-study. And, and if you want to do competition, uh, competitive programming, then we can offer you the CS30A discrete math. And we will use Python language to teach you discrete math. Okay, so this one is also a very important course. And if you take the, the other route, okay, if you take the other route, you take the uh, uh, CS30, and we will connect you to AP Comsci. Uh, I'm sorry, I will connect you to AP Stats. Okay, that's another course. And that would be for KCASON and, uh, uh, and uh, machine learning and AI. So for CCW Plus course, we offer you the C language course. And C language, we offer you CA, CS41 and 44. You can consider this is the C1 and C2, okay? Two C course. C, CS42, 43, 45, these are C double plus one, two, three. Same thing here, you have program structure, object-oriented programming and data structure, okay? So every language I use a one, two, three, one for programming essential, two for object-oriented programming, three for the data structure and algorithm. And, and these are the course design for my uh, CC double plus. And we also offer you the web design course uh, this one actually we offer CS31 or 30, CS30, okay, one of the Python course in the summer, in the summer. And then in fall, we offer you JavaScript and HTML for uh, project based uh, website design. Then in the spring, we offer you CS51 AP Kansai principle course. And after this, you are ready to uh, move on to Hackathon competition. And you will need to learn linear algebra, uh, also maybe uh, probability, also maybe data science, basic data science, uh, maybe also machine learning, maybe also AI in order to make you become successful uh, in Hegason. Okay, so these are related courses in, uh, in web design uh, series. And for competitive programming, after you have AP Kansai A uh, training, we do offer you the second year after the AP Kansai, uh, we offer in the summer here uh, the Java 3 and the uh, discrete math, and then uh, start to work on the bronze level user code training. Okay, so this actually approximately from uh, June to uh, December, to end in, in December for this uh, course. And then if you uh, finish the bronze level, you can start to do C double plus one, two, three. And then with that one, two, three level, you actually move on to the C over level and beyond. Okay. And so these are the, our planning for the competitive programming education. So these are our course series and we basically support the uh, requirement for all of the UC schools uh, for the computer science and X majors, okay? Now, this, this school year 2022, okay, and 2023, uh, for the freshman student, okay, you are, if you are uh, the first year for computer science, we call, call it freshman year. Uh, you may be eighth grader and you may be ninth grader, you may be 10th grader, and in the summer, we will offer you CS30 or CS31. 
And in four, we will open you the JavaScript and then uh, AP comes at principal in spring. So here you will be able to uh, take AP comes at principal uh, exam in one school year, okay? But if you choose to directly jump into the AP uh, comes at A, we are also okay. Uh, AP comes at P or AP comes at A, there's no uh, dependency, okay? They, you can take either one of the track. It is actually okay. In spring, we will open you the pre-AP Java and we currently have some students working on this. And then if you finish that, we may have a high achiever uh, curriculum that will cover this Java 1, 2, 3 in the uh, AP Campsite A course. And in fact, we are teaching AP Computer Science A, B course, okay? And if you did not take the spring course and you took the CS21, the pre-AP Java in the summer, and then in that year, you should be able to take uh, this uh, AP Kamsai uh, A course. Okay, so if you see say, my course uh, saying high achiever course, it really is saying a AP Kamsai AB course. And right now the, the test has already been dropped. Okay, but we still offer you that option. We still offer you that option. Okay, so that's the sophomore year. If you are second year in computer science, we uh, take that. But if you do A become size A first for the first year and then A become size P for the second year, that sometimes I recommend some students to do that. Uh, that's also okay. So you finish these two things in two years, okay? And usually I do not suggest you to do this both in one year. That's too much work to finish. And then in junior year, okay, in junior year, after you finish AP comes like A portion, in the summer, we will offer you discrete math and Java 3 and starting the user of bronze uh, uh, competition until December. Okay, this actually is one uh, course series. And in spring, we may start to teach you uh, the CS, 41C language or we mass. And then uh, last year we focused on teaching you the CC double plus, uh, making sure you can transit from high school to college smoothly. Okay, so these are our current uh, course planning. And uh, in the coming summer, uh, we will offer online uh, Sunday night 8 p.m. for the Python programming essential course. And we will also offer some students who have not finished pre-AP Java to have uh, pre-AP Java. And this one's supposed to be a course in uh, Saturday, 3 p.m. And for those who want to finish the spring pre-AP Java course, we will have a summer uh, Sunday, uh, 3 p.m. And this one for a high achiever, this one will include a Java 3. Okay, and then if you finish AP Kamsai course, and after that, we will offer you uh, discrete math and uh, Java 3, if you have not finished it, for Java 3 data structure and algorithm. And then along that, you will also receive the useful bronze level training. Okay, this is a third year training. And senior year will focus on C double plus and possibly higher order. And here, if you start early, you will move on earlier to the next level, okay? You start earlier from the level. If you don't like to take uh, uh, the pipe, uh, AP comes a principle, it's okay, it's up to you. You can uh, do this three things, but that still takes three years to finish. So usually I uh, suggest student to take this in ninth grade and 10, you are here. 11, you are here. And 10 square, you can merge this one with the 10 square. Okay, you can take that one to this. And that would be a better uh, combination for taking courses. Okay, so here again, I would like to say my major mission is to help students to become successful uh, in app application to the UC Computer Science and X majors. 
and also help you to become successful in your computer science career. Okay, thank you. Bye now.